Okay, I wanted to take a video. The furnace has been running for a really long time and the rear room is not heated. So uh, this is me checking my hand. My hand should be somewhere between like 91 and 94. So uh, it's pretty close. Don't trust these numbers entirely. The deltas are okay, but not necessarily uh, the actual readings. So here's a supply duct. Furnace has been on for geez, hour and a half, two hours. So we're getting 104, and that's pretty close to, I measured it in the basement, it was uh, it was 110 uh, at the plenum. Um, this is a thermostat, which you may or may not be able to read. Yay, you can read it. So uh, it's up to 67. It was at 63. It's been running two hours to pull up that far. Uh, it's an 80,000 BTU furnace, single stage, 80%. So probably about 65 output. Um, and uh, so th this thing's struggling to hang on. Um, uh, house is very, very leaky. Uh, it was a 5300 blower door. So, oh, this is kind of a fun picture. Um, looks like the third circle of hell or something back there. Um, actually, moving that chair out might help. But this is the back room. So, let's check wall temperatures. So, we are 64 here. And we're something like 50 in here. So that is uh, basically a big window unit, but it also does heat, it's just resistance, but uh, it does both. Uh, this room was an addition, it's on a slab. There is uh, uh, no ductwork back here though. Look at the bottom there. That is really, really cold. Yeah, to have surface temperatures in the 30s, um, it's very cold outside. I don't know if this will work at all. Nah, it's just going to hit reflection. It's uh, like 14 outside right now, 15 outside. Um, there's a bunch of cold spots. Uh, the ceiling is kind of interesting. So this side over here in the back of the house is definitely uh, pretty cold. And then it's generally okay over here, so you get to uh, be in much more boring. Um, this is a flat roof above here. There is an attic right on the other side of that wall over there. I got 57, that's an interior wall. So 57, 53. Getting into the 40s underneath that thing. It's just falling. Wow. So we have some kind of a big leak up here. This is, I believe, under the master bath. Second floor of this place is super duper leaky. That's where most of it was. It's a dining room. Lots of cold spots. You can actually see the stack effect in action today. Uh, this is the bedroom wing I'm headed to. So this is the first floor bath. Windows cold. Yeah, there's uh, the attic starts right about there. It's the daughter's room, which is quite cold. This is the coldest room in the house. It has a crawl space underneath it. Let's make sure that's still somewhere in the ballpark. Yeah, we're still around 90, 91. Yeah, so this is pretty cold. So interior walls are 58, where in the other room, yeah, that's a big split. Okay, uh, this is the front room. There's a knee wall attic above this up here. And you can kind of sort of tell, yeah, there's a, um, where a line is, although the actually the knee wall attic is further over than that. Here's a heat run going upstairs. Oh, it's getting that wall nice and toasty. What are we getting to up there? Yeah, nice and cold. 
down in the 40s again. Again, 14 degrees outside today. Good day for this. Yeah, there's just all kinds of crazy funkiness. There's another heat run going upstairs. Okay, I'm going to stop this video and do it upstairs. All right, I'm gonna go upstairs. This is right next to the kitchen here. Well, you know what, I did forget to do the kitchen, so we'll look in this quickly, yikes. Got lots of, oh, let me double check my hand. Yes, we're still in the ballpark. My laptop's at, pretty warm. All right, upstairs we go. Gotta love seeing heat runs. Okay, nice cold spot here. This is where uh, slope ceiling comes together. There's two sides, so this is a valley here actually. Rough valley. This is the master. Definitely nippy right there. And I noted with the blower door, this wall here was very cold, so this is probably an open wall cavity. Um, maybe we could run an extra duct through there to get up here though. It likely needs some more supply. Ooh, look at that lighting up. It looks like they probably insulated the slope somehow. It was really leaky still, so we have some air leakage problems. Oh, geez, and there's no insulation up there at all. Okay. This looks different from the other day when we did the blower door. You see pretty much just insulation here, not as much on the air leakage side. this wall here it's the other side of that cold one and we got a cavity that's what some uninsulated cavities look like interesting that they're actually testing warm so they're insulated and maybe the Sun's touching them oh, it's facing south or facing north Bet that used to be either a whole house fan or uh, the uh, attic hatch. This is the master bath. The whole second floor is basically the master suite. It's nicely done. And insulation missing there. Oh, it's all kinds of crazy stuff. This is interesting though. We're actually getting warmer temps over here. Which is curious because the supply, well you can see the supply is underneath the, the sink there. Alright, so interior wall temperature here is around 60, 62. This is the master closet, which is very problematic. Ooh, oh yeah. Yeah, 10 degrees colder. That knee wall is very cold. Wow. Oh, conked my head. All right, we need to deal with that. This is a return right there underneath this window. And a big gap underneath the window trim. This is remarkably helpful on such a cold day. Yeah, look at the inside of the door. There's no supply in this room. So my client keeps the door closed. Wow.
Okay. There's a lot of work to be done up here. It's like it's just that one window that's really ugly trim-wise. Yeah, okay. Um, there's plenty of work to do up here. I'm betting there's a solid couple thousand points on the blower door when we get uh, this second floor in good shape.